hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel that is Deb Chanel's what it's world welcome family hope y'all have had a wonderful work week and y'all are settling down getting ready for the weekend it's raining here in Georgia it's just raining 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 thundering lightning and all that stuff but hey we gotta have some rainy days to bring in some sunny days but we're here to be messy y'all we be here to be messy we're gonna go back in the past a little bit to try to understand what miss p willie is out here doing okay trying to get back on the real housewives of atlanta and them newbies as well as the old cast said no we don't want you <laughs> so basically we're trying to figure out was Mama Drina right? Was she right saying that Portia cheated on Dennis? Okay, because that's what she's saying. That Portia Mama told him that she stepped out while she was still messing with Dennis with this so-called stripper, male stripper called Bolo. Okay, do we remember that, y'all? I know y'all remember that because Kenya <coughs> was definitely broadcasting it for even the deaf people to hear. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, and then her cousin, who comes a very good authority on Portia, that Portia had actually fooled around with Fallon husband, Simon G, prior to them getting a divorce. Now, Portia's all out here trying to show us uh, Simon's family and this, that, and the third. This is supposed to be his family. This is supposed to be his family with, with his children. And some more slides should come. But we're trying to do two stories here because we're trying to understand this situation. Do we have both of them as cheaters? Because then cheaters flock together. They need to stay together. So if Portia actually cheated on Dennis when she was saying Dennis cheated on her, which he did confess, why she can't tell us she cheated with Bolo at Cynthia's engagement party why can't she tell the truth on that all right because i know some stuff went down push on one tail her dirt like her shit don't stink and it does because everybody shit stink it depends on how long it sits there and you don't get the smell out of there with some air freshener okay i'm just saying <laughs> okay Woo! but i do know something had went down because tanya had a lot to lose and she got the hell out of there. She got the hell out of Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as being seen with Portia Williams for a while. Okay? But can't, I mean, um, Portia was all about that smoke. But anyway, she was supposed to be a queen for the day, for the year, for the month. Who knows? But she called herself giving us a resume of her new boyfriend simon g okay trying to go visit his uh motherland in nigeria meeting with his mom that's supposed to be his first wife but he was supposed to be locked up because he did some illegal stuff you know what i'm saying he had to get deported and that's allegedly and i'm saying this is supposed to be his family as well so portia why are you trying to give us a resume and a look at simon body as people and you bring somebody else here to Atlanta to assist with your uh, nuptials that are coming up. Or I don't know when they'll be. We're still looking for Sheree and her joggers. But she came and showcased on Real Housewives of Atlanta that we're going to be seeing on season 14. Somewhat of some goods. Okay, I ain't going to say they're high quality, but it is what it is. But y'all know, Portia was at that... Um, bridal shower that candy had thrown for cynthia just to get her all wet and, and and excited about i guess life and sex who knows what candy was trying to prove at the time but anyway she invited a stripper by the name of bolo and as you can see in that picture they got pretty pretty close all right but again portia's trying to give us these optics of who is surrounding uh who well, the family dynamics of who Simon calls his family. And we know about them. Those are the kids or whatnot. Okay, but I don't understand who this lady is that Portia called herself Simon Gobadio's niece. Now, I'm like, okay, he had the opportunity or he had the opportunity to show us his family. 
okay, through Portia's lens of a view and what she feels she's going to set out here <coughs> for us to uh, partake of. And again, it's looking like nothing but foolishness, nothing but fakery, nothing but fraudulent fuckery activity. Okay, my four L's. Yes, where is Simon's family? You know what I'm saying? Do he have anybody in the States other than these people right here that definitely don't look like they're related to Simon? But we'll go with it, okay? And we do. We have seen his children by, uh, what can we say, three different women, okay? Because we know he was trying to get one with Fallon. But I don't know, was he impotent at the time? Was, you know, he wasn't able to get up at the time? But I know he really wanted that baby Fallon was carrying to be him. Because he wanted to go get a paternity test and all this kind of bullshit. So that should be a uh, eyesore or a irritation for Portia. Like, why are you worried about if that's your baby or not? Uh, from what I heard, you were shooting blanks. So, I'm like, okay. If he was shooting blanks, then um, why are you with him if you wanted to have a family with somebody that was a millionaire? Now, we all know that Bobo is not a millionaire, but he is very pleasing to women, if you get my drift. Okay. Okay. So, yes, I would gather to say that Portia did do the bed sheet mumbo with him okay and it's not far-fetched it's just more plausible than not that she did it because she was mad at dennis and of course we see how that turned out both of them got mad at each other boy she wouldn't sign the uh prenup Dennis wouldn't give her back the ring. So she called herself finding a new man, a new millionaire, and she wants to marry him. He wants to marry her. But I don't know. This is the niece that Portia says is Simon Gabadia's niece, sister, or something like that. Go on the Instagram account. She puts her in the pictures. And I'm like, uh, where did this lady come from? Where did y'all dig her up at? How much did y'all have to pay her to be a part of this foolishness, fakery, fuckery, fraudulent piece of material that y'all trying to give us better optics of? I'm like, Portia, it didn't work then with your Pursuit of Portia's book. It didn't work either. Quite messy when you brought out that sitcom of a show that only got one season and don't need to be resurrected, okay? And I'm like, uh, so you're trying to give us another storyline? I see where you're going. You want the hype to be stayed on you. And pretty much I'm going to keep the highlight on you because you still out here doing foolish, fakery, fuckery, fraudulent activity. Okay, so we won't forget about you because we know with each passing day you're going to do something in social media to where people are going to talk about you. You do it for the optics and you do it for the media. The attention, whether it's good or bad, should be focused on you because that's your staple. And that's what people want to know. Whether it's good or bad press, they want to say people are still talking about you and of course dirty simon all right but like i said it's just so many unanswered questions portia don't want to ask or answer the questions that are brought to her she tries to deflect okay that is her best thing that she's learned in dealing and being in the business of entertainment deflect 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 and you know she wants to become you know, someone unlikable, she's on the right path for that to happen, okay? She's not showing herself to be an upstanding, astute woman, so we only give what she gives us. Now, who this pretty little woman is, I don't know why she's aligning herself with Portia. Maybe it's a payday. You know, it's a money grab. She'll be whoever uh, Portia wants her her to be at whatever given time, just as long as the money is right. Okay? I'm just saying. 
Portia would do anything for some change to get to that six or seven figure paycheck once again. But as you can tell, we're embarking on almost one year of her calling herself being engaged, okay, to this man, okay? And I'm like, ugh, the story is just getting a little bit too old. So I guess you would have to bring in some other type of storyline. But we are just waiting on the big one where you say, me and Simon broke up. We're no longer together. And this is what it is. And you're chasing the next hot piece of millionaire or billionaire status of a man. Okay. He can be African. He can be black American. He can probably be any culture as long as the payday is there. All right. And as we can pretty much say, we don't think Simon is a millionaire and you're trying to hold face or keep up the good front because you don't, don't want to be made to look like you're stupid and that you still cannot get it right. But we're hoping, wishing, praying that you would just go on and make your own money yourself. Stop trying to be married because it's one thing to be married and happy and satisfied then married unhappy unsatisfied and you still looking for Mr. Right even though you're attached to Mr. Wrong. We see how he did Fallon. We can understand that Fallon may have did him wrong as well but he's already admitted that he's a cheater. Once a cheater, always a cheater unless that cheater show and prove that he has been redeemed and he's no longer needing to wear the label of cheater. Okay, but mm, nope. I don't think Simon is still ready to let go his bachelorlessness. And he wants to be on TV. And if you cannot provide that for him, Portia, he will move on to the next young lady that he can sashay can finesse and probably take their money as well because i'm gonna tell you those with sasha rolls that he was wearing they looked so cheap they looked at even thinner as far as the texture versus what dennis was wearing his was more fluffier and it fit him nice and it just looked like you know uh versace type wear simon looked at thin like it, it, you could just pull it a little bit too hard and it'll fall apart. All right, Simon, did you get that Versace roll from a jockey lot, from a flea market, from a consignment shop, baby? Tell us, because we want to know, because it did not look real or authentic. Okay, did you get a knockoff? Ooh, stop trying to be Dennis because you're not. Stop trying to look for that woman that's going to put you on good programming of a uh, uh, show because you're boring. Uh, you give nothing to the camera. And you're definitely not built like Bolo where you just a lot of eye candy. Okay? And you have those sugar mamas that wants to take care of their man. But I just heard all that through the grapevine. Don't know if it's true or not. But I'm just trying to figure out where did Portia get this so-called niece of Simon that we haven't seen, have never heard of before. But she's definitely trying to get these optics together. Or she'll be like Fallon. How Simon said he has to get rid of people that he don't want in his life. And he has a moving van on standby at will to call up come to the house get the stuff that the woman he was you know messed with or whatever put it in the truck and take her wherever she needs to go something like a Tyler Perry movie you know what I'm saying when the man didn't want her no more and threw her out that mansion and had a uh, U-Haul truck waiting with the driver to haul her ass anywhere but there okay but he did get it in the end, y'all. I don't know what the name of that movie was. But he got it in the end. She served him up. She did him better than what I would have did. But that's neither here nor there. But y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me about Portia sitting up here trying to make us believe Simon got family. I'm like, girl. So this woman came from Nigeria that's supposed to be helping you, Portia, with your wedding. Called Sister. 
Is she is she migrated here or has she already been here? Is she one of your hired hands to make you and your story you're trying to feed the public a little more culture? Because quiet is the kept. And how the optics that she's giving me, she don't even look like she uh Nigerian. Maybe I'm wrong, y'all. Y'all look at the picture again. Hopefully, it'll come up before I end the video. But yes, Dirty Simon want us to believe, or the Portia want us to believe, the optics that she, she don't she don't found her so so called niece don't found Simon's so called niece called her up. Say so it's getting close to that wind date. Can you come over so we can discuss the finales of what the dresses you got for me? The jewelry gonna go with it. Our uh, what do you call it? Our venue we're gonna have it at because Simon don't even know. So I'm like, girl, stop fooling the funk on us. We know those of us who really watch you in your ways, you did get down with Bolo, okay, because. You don't know how to keep your legs closed, okay? And who knows, Bolo could have probably had a girlfriend or even a wife. I'm just saying. But you were like, well, are you here with me tonight? As we lay, we forgot about the pain that we would pay or some shit like that. Y'all know Shirley Murdoch's song, as we lay, we forgot about the something, you know, as we lay. Oh, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh, no, Portia. You one of them type of women, but you want to call yourself a queen and want to be seen as a queen. Oh, girl. And I don't think one of them looked at like Simon's cousins. Did you meet any of his people when you were over there trying to give the illusion and optics that Simon was coming from king status or something over there? Because Quad is a skill. Lies on speak it out. They don't like him over there in his own country. He was a nobody over there. Trying to be with the somebodies. But he didn't make the cut. He didn't make the uh, the society cut over there for us. The classes. Now you want us to believe you done brought this man to Atlanta. Oh yeah, he was already here. And uh, he just fell, fell madly in love with you. Because he really kind of dished you, Paul. She said you came into his DMs. All right? And not the other way around. And you approached him with all this. I'm sorry. You're going through this and that and the third. If there's anything that I can do for you, please don't hesitate. But to call me up. Call me when you need someone to talk to. Uh, Call me satisfaction guarantee. Yes, and she probably had Bolo's number uh in her speed dial where he was probably asking her, if you need me, call me satisfaction guarantee. Yes, she probably Bolo probably said, Look me up, honey. If you want another private dance you know how to get in touch with me, and I do work out the hours if you get my drill. So, I'm like, Portia, is you and Simon both cheaters? Because y'all can go, two cheaters can be right there with each other, but you can't be faithful to each, uh, faithful to each other because you're both going to be going here and there and going nowhere. Just round in a circle, going round and round and round we go. Okay, like the big yellow bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round. That's pop, pop. That is probably Portia's theme song in her head. I'm just saying. Because she don't have a clue. She really don't. She's always there for the cameras. For the action. And ain't no production going on. I'm like, girl. And you trying to feed us this story. And we keep vomiting it back up. Because we don't want it. We don't believe it. And it just is what it is. But I just had to come on the tube. To just try to make Portia understand that the optics are still looking bad. Whether or not she knows it or not. We're going to keep bringing it to her. And we're going to bring up the fact that. Did you treat cheat with Bolo? Girl did you treat cheat with Bolo? Because Simon ain't nothing but a cheater. And he told you he was a cheater. Now who's to say he didn't cheat on family? 
okay but if he was missing in action from her a while even on valentine's day and all that kind of stuff who was he sharing his time with okay a cheater can't call another cheater a cheater we gotta expose them both now Portia, we knew you were kind of upset with Dennis. Is it plausible you got down with Bolo? Yes, it's very possible because that is the type of man that you wish Simon was, okay? Now, if the brother was packing like that and looking like that, I could probably say, well, get on it, doggone it. Jam on it. Jam on it. Your surfboard, your surf, grinding, grinding on that wood, grind, grinding on that wood. I could see that. But with Papa Smurf, I could kind of see it sort of with Dennis. But even Dennis said you were lazy in bed. Yes, he did. On your own show. Dennis had the opportunity to make that dig on you saying you lazy in bed. You just like it one way. And I could see why. He got bored with you. Because some men, not all, they like a freak in the bed. They like a freak in the bed. And Portia, they, he said you kind of lazy. But this is the young lady I'm talking about, y'all. She don't look Nigerian to me. I mean, she could, but she's just a beautiful queen. You know what I'm saying? And she knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. And she's definitely kept herself looking well. All right. But yeah, Portia said this young lady is helping her with her wig. I'm like, girl, if you don't go sit your ass down somewhere, please just sit up. Get off social media for a while, okay? Get off social media for a while until you can come with the correct truth of your situation. Other than that, it's going to be messy. It's going to always be messy over here. And I'm not going to give you anything but what I feel you definitely deserve. And that's the truth. Okay? The truth, girl. Because I see you. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to make any other type of road that's going to get you back on your own show. Or you won't back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because you missed that money. Because you know for a fact, if you're begging Bravo and you're getting your team to beg Bravo... That man you call as a millionaire is not a millionaire. He's a man that's a scammer, a liar, a cheater. Or he could be a man that makes less than 100000 a year. And it just is what it is, okay? Or you too scared to tell us what he really does or show us what he really does because it ain't legal, okay? Those are the three possibilities that I can come up with. Portia P. Willie. All right. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like a love, gotta have more. Don't hesitate but to do what? Do what? Subscribe when you're walking in the house to greet me. And definitely share and like my videos when you're leaving out. Going back home, getting your rest, getting into whatever you get into when you are at home. Okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.